Happy Christmas, Happy Boxing Day, Happy New Year's Day, whatever day it is while you're watching this. And I've been up to the Mallory Park Plum Pudding Races on Boxing Day. Before I went, I thought I'll uh, give everything a check over, most particularly the lock in case I needed to use it, and found that my Oxford disc lock was getting a bit stiff. So, quick solution, quick squirt of GT85 down the lock hole, and uh, with the key, give it plenty of wrist action to free it up nicely and everything started feeling freer. I haven't used the lock in a long time. I don't tend to park in places where I need to use it and in the garage there's a few other things in the way that mean the disc lock's a bit superfluous. Uh, this is one of the things you should also do to all your ignition, fuel cap and seat release uh, key barrels as well. But not only that, the other thing you need to do at least once a year in my recommendation would be a bit of three in one, again, down the old keyhole and give it a wiggle about. Three in one by coincidence is also the name of my OnlyFans channel. With the three in one, it's best to put the key in around about halfway and then drop the oil down the key so it gets nice and deep in the lock. Give it 10 15 seconds, push the key home, and again, lots of movement on the wrist, and away you go. Anyway, that's a quick top tip for keeping everything oiled up. I also do that on my ignition switch, fuel cap switch and seat release just to make sure they all work when I need them to and uh, something I'd recommend. So GT85 3-in-1.